another month, another white dwarf. So, fuck me. Let's see. I've already received a faulty product today, so I hope there's nothing wrong with the white dwarf as well. So, I mean, like always, they look pretty good. I mean, the, the artwork on the front are good. And this one actually came the third. So it actually came near the beginning of the month. Even though I think it was supposed to come the last Friday of the previous month or something like that. Oh well. If there's anything wrong or if this white dwarf is bad, blame these people, like always. First strikes and second waves. I think this is just explaining the new box sets that are about to come out. Here are the latest news, Planet Warhammer, Paint Splatter, and everything is fine and dandy. I probably will not resubscribe to the White Dwarf after these first 12 months that I did subscribe. I mean, if I would buy more White Dwarfs, then I would buy just individual ones when they are kind of good. And here are the prices, so let's see. Getting started, they're just the books. Are 60 kroners. And the actual first strike, that thing right here, which I might actually get. Because there's new sculpts. It costs 300. But yeah, there is the reverse. I kind of want these guys. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The new miniatures. I actually really like the new the Primaris Psyker Librarian. But would I pay that much for him? Mm, I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, these prices are typical because that's often how much HQs and that costs in Games Workshop terms, but I don't know. Easy to build Primaris Reavers. You get three of them, I guess, and they cost 120. I mean, the only thing I don't like about them is just their boots. Like, this finger and down is what I don't like. The rest I actually like. So. Oh yeah, some easy to build Primaris Intercessors. So you get some more sculpts. Another one that has the helmet on the... What it's called? On his midriff. Not midriff, but you know, on his hip. Easy to build plague marines, and you actually get a plague marine with a heavy weapon, it looks like. So let's see. Each and every plague marine is touched by mutation. The blight launcher is the creation of the dank weapon shops of the dark mechanicum, spreading Nurkos hellish poxes as a truly spiteful weapon. So you get a special weapon there. That's cool. And then you get some Pox Walkers. Which I love. I love the Pox Walkers. Alright, that's nice. I really should keep this because they've already been almost five minutes and we're already we're only at page ten. Some hobby supplies, paint sets. Oh yeah, the Ever, they're releasing this thing by itself, Thunder and Blood, the new guys, and the latest from Forge World, Magnus versus Lehman Russ. Magnus shooting the filthy magician. Now Magnus is a decent guy, I guess. 
Alright, video game news. What is this? Speed Freaks? This brand new title out soon on Apple iPhone and iPad. Alright, so it's an it's a mobile game. Much look at it. I mean I don't have an iPhone or iPad. So would have preferred if it was for Android as well, but I don't know, it might be decent, probably not, but who knows. Alright. Oh, is there, did you know there are now 1 million players? Well, maybe 1 million people have bought the game. Maybe. But. I don't think that there are that many people actually playing. Alright, let's see. Oh, maybe they include Total Warhammer as well. Let's see. Drop Assault. And Warhammer Quest 2. The End Times. Alright. I never played the original Warhammer Quest. I mean, the the, mo the, the PC game. I think it started off as a mobile game. Anyways, Path to Glory is coming out. So sorry for the camera angles. I mean, it's hard. Alright, let's just skip that. More Magnus the Red. I kind of want to get in there and read it myself. So we're just skimming through things. I mean, how interested are you guys really in this? Out with old, in with the new. They're preparing some models, I guess. Oh yeah, Tale of the Four Warlords. Let's see what's happened. Um, Dan is showing you how to paint his Iron Warriors. So he probably starts off with Lead Belcher Spray. And he got some Plague Marines. And they look actually really fucking good like that. I actually really like that color scheme. That's nice. Alright, the Eldar guy got a Wraith Lord and someone else. Let's see. Wraith Lord and another new, I don't know, Eldred, is it? Uh, yes, the Mighty Force of Eldred. Alright, and they show how he painted that. I'm guessing that guy is just going to get more troops and a tech priest, so that's nice. And that guy got some primary spice marines. Spice marines! So they're looking good. And I don't care about their battles. Some shit about the horse heresy, golden demon. Which always inspires me, because they always look so fucking good. Warhammer war gear, some clothing. I mean the Blood Bowl one. It's eh. I like the colors. But it's too, you know, sport for me. Which is the point, I guess. I mean, at first I was like, oh that's pretty cool. But then I was like, eh. Do is it though? Anyway, there's some nice artwork of the Oryx, the Iron Jaws, I think they're called. Specifically, Iron Jaw. So that's cool. I like that. Oh, it's an illumination of old school Orcs. Orcs and Goblins. Oh. My. My hands are hurting from holding up this book. I'm not feeling that well at the time of the recording. I'm super weak. Oh god. Some more nice illuminations of the Oryx versus Stormcast Eternals. And I think I would like to see more of that teal color because the gold and the blues 
versus the, uh, the greens and the bright yellows of the Oryx. It blends in too much. I would have liked to see much brighter co not other colors on the Eternals other than the golds. Oh, some data sheets. Let's see. Oh, and they... Some tactics on how to build your army. Okay. That could be interesting. Oh, and here we get some... I always got a battle report. Tau versus Orcs. Well... I hope the orcs win. I've heard that orcs are pretty good in 8th edition. So, while Tau are still amazing, but you know Tau players, unless there is a 99.9% .9 chance of winning just by playing Tau, Tau players will start crying and whining that their codex is not overpowered anymore. So, I just wish Tau became like the worst army ever. It's never going to happen. They're still going to be a top tier army. So let's see. Uh, it does the set on the battlefield and Matt Holland has earned himself a nervous victory. Who is Matt? I'm guessing that's the Tau player. Yes it is. So Tau won. And War in the Shadows. Some Torcas Eternals and Iron Jaws. And some... Oh, what are they called? Flesh Gold? Flesh Eater Counts. Flesh Eater Quartz. And these some Warbands. For I guess Age of Sigmar Skirmish. Oh, that's cool. I like seeing this in the new dwarfs and all, all the different color schemes people come up with them. They look good. Unbound Storm. And that's the red wine colored Astral Templars. Here we go. Yeah. I don't I don't really like the color scheme. Oh god, let's see. I mean, it looks good. The army is fucking beautiful. So whoever painted this, I mean, or the people, I don't know if it's just one guy or if there's several people painting all of this, but good job. It looks amazing. Well, there we go. Let's see. Some more just pictures of that. And a Prime Celestiant, or whatever his name is. Looking dapper. A new army for a new era. Let's see. I mean, look at that. That's a good looking army. Look cool. And here we have some blood, blood some corn demons. And I guess these are just the start collecting sets. It looks like it. Some very well painted start collecting sets. Damn, there's a lot of um, Tempestus. Militarum Tempestus. And here we have the paint, paint splatter on Okay. I'm gonna have to read that because is that like oh now you're ready. I guess that's super quick painting schemes. Yeah, I think so. And here is probably if you want to go into more detail. That extra detail. So that's nice. I like seeing these things. Oh yeah, and the fate of Conor, Conor or whatever the planet is called, is happening soon. 
I probably won't take part in it because I'm still painting. Maybe in two or three years, maybe. We'll see when I'm done. And modeling and painting. Oh god, that's a nice deployment zone. You can <laughs> spawn right next to each other. That's pretty cool. And then that's it, we're done. Fuck me, I'm tired. And my hand hurts. So, that was, what month? July? Yes, July 2017, White Dwarf. Goodbye. <laughs>